Hey everyone and welcome back. Uh, looking at the Bill's Wave again. As we previously previously seen in the last video, uh, this radio is working fine. Radio and CD is working well, but the display is not getting uh, is not displaying anything. It's uh, it's possible that the display could be taken out altogether, or it's just not getting voltage. So I'm back into the radio here, and I'm looking at the, uh, the capacitors that I have replaced here, and I'm getting some strange values on some of them. But before I go back into the air, I check the this capacitor here, which is good, and all these capacitors in this area is also good, except for this capacitor right here. It's a 47 UF 16 volt. So I have a 47 volt uh, 25, uh, sorry, uh, 47 UF 25 volt that I'm going to uh, pop in there. But I am going to try to save um, the cap so I can test it. Um, and if I could do this, let's see if I could get this in shot. Uh, maybe here. I want to show you what I'm getting from the reading on the capacitor that I'm uh, debating on pulling out here now. So we are just, uh, there we go. And we'll turn it back on. And we need to go to capacitor reading. And, uh, okay, here we go. This is a real weird, weird reading. If I can get to it. And that should be it there. Yeah. There we go. Two, three, six, one, UF. That's a 47 UF cap. So I'm definitely gonna be re replacing that one. And then I'm gonna go back into, uh, back into here and recheck the values. And I may have to lift one of the legs on some of the capacitors here, uh, but it doesn't seem like something's jiving in here as well. Although I checked all the capacitors before I put them in. Something may have gone wrong there. Okay, so I tested this capacitor out of circuit and it's reading normal. So I have to resolder um, another 47 UF 25 volt I'm going to put in here to get this back up and running. And uh, the rest of the capacitors I think are okay. So I'm back to square one. Uh, I checked the ribbon cable that goes to the display and although there is a slight bit of damage, a very slight bit of damage up in the corner there, I can get that to insert far enough that it should not be causing the issue of a, a non-working display. The other side, which goes down underneath the underneath the um, CD player and connects in to that component that I was just working on there, to that board, that is in impeccable shape. So that's what the other side should look like. And there you go, a comparison. But I don't think, like I say, this here has probably been removed over the years, probably a dozen times or more. So you can see it's it's showing its wear. But I tested wire for wire, uh, strip for strip, and everything's making connection. There is continuity. So now I'm going to keep looking at this a bit more. I studied the uh, the questionable transistor over here. This transistor right here, right next to this wiring where this wire arc to this transistor. I checked from base to collector, I believe it is. Yeah, base to collector, the reading was 4.5 volts and base to emitter was also 4.5 volts. And I checked it with the this uh, tester here in circuit 
and it identifies it as a transistor. <coughs> and it seems to be normal. So, other than trying to look at the board to find something that is gone wrong, um, I don't see anything. There's nothing that appears to have any damage. So I'm back to reassembling this, and this is my issue, as some of you may know. I have a very small room here, and it, it's a multi-purpose room. It's a, it's my office. Uh, it's um, a radio room. Uh, it's a repair room, and it's a music room. And it's seven by eight. I believe that's the size of the room. So, uh, whenever I work on something like this, it can't stay on my desk for long because there's other things that need to be done, especially uh, being in office. Uh, have to get stuff out of the way. So there we are uh, at a standstill, I'm waiting to hear back from some people on what they think could be the issue, uh, what I could do. Uh, I did hear from a gentleman uh, through eBay that tells me he's highly, uh, he's highly certain that the the display has not failed, and uh, he doesn't think the ribbon is bad as well. Uh, he just thinks there's something else knocked out on the board that I'm not finding, but having it uh, here and not on his bench, he is uh, weary about trying to troubleshoot any further. Uh, and uh, like I say, I, I just would prefer to, um, to proceed with a known target of issue, test it as, as best I can with uh, instruction, and uh, see where I can go from there. But uh, I don't want to dig in too deep. So just going to replace this capacitor now and and reinsert the ribbon and test the radio again. But I don't think the the uh, display is going to work. If it does, I'll be right back. But in the meantime, I think I just should just say thanks for watching. And this is a uh, part two, and uh, it may come to a point where I just may have to try to find a parts radio. I have no issues with swapping out boards and stuff like that. That's that's fine. I do not want to get into these uh, removal of uh, these small ICs and stuff like that. That's a bit beyond my scope of talent. So there we are. Thanks for watching. Okay, back again. Uh, still no further ahead. However, um, there is a capacitor here. It's 2.2, 50 volt but it's not marked negative or positive and uh, I'm not getting a reading on it either way let me just double check this for sure um, do this in real time for you 2.45 and that's 2.2 if I turn it the other way do I get the same reading because it's not marked negative or positive and here is 6.2 6.1 if I look to try to find where's the ground on this put it to continuity the meter there's no ground on that side and no ground on that side so I'm thinking that's not a capacitor although it does look like one however back here is another capacitor and you see it's marked on this side negative and we'll put this back to capacitance uh, to check the capacitor, I should say. And uh, we touch ground here and here, and it says overload. Overload on the meter. So that is a 1 UF 50 volt, and I do have a when you have 50 volts so we're just going to make one more stab at this and move around the board and there's lots more capacitors over here but I'm thinking this is where the event happened the electronic uh, melting of wires uh, so I got to take the chance and change that capacitor uh, this one right here to see if it brings the radio back to life okay with the replace replacement of the one microfettered 50 volt capacitor. Uh, we're going to see if this radio is going to work. I hope to God it does. But if not, it means I just have to keep moving forward or I'm um, looking for a, another parts radio. 
So uh, here we go. And still no display. Okay, uh, let's see if the power's on. Okay, we have radio. As you can see, the volume works. And if we switch over to CD and pop him some Bob Seeger. As you can see, the screen is not working, but the CD is. So there it is, we're getting a copyright strike. Um, I'm still no further ahead. Uh, I have tested, as I said, um, these points along the display here. I've uh, found a ground on the display and then just went to some of these points and I found uh, voltages on the display. I think it was like 3.5 volts to 4.8, I believe, in display. display. Um, so that's it. That's about as far as I can go for today. I have to uh, close this up again now and uh, allow myself room for other activities. Um, I guess there may be a part tree. Maybe the part tree might be a parts radio on the way. Wish me luck. <laughs>